representative of Israel. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, at the outset, I want to express my deepest condolences to the Russian people and to the families of all the victims of the heinous terror attack on Friday. Terror must always be condemned in the harshest terms. The Security Council was justifiably quick, very quick, to condemn Friday's terror attack in Russia. Just as it was, it was waited no time to condemn the terror attack in Iran against a police station back in December. Yet still, to this day, the Council refuses to condemn the most widespread and barbaric massacre suffered by the Jewish people since the Holocaust. At least 137 people were murdered at Crocus City Concert Hall in Russia on Friday by radical jihadists. And yes, almost six months ago, nearly 400 people were murdered at the Nova Music Festival in Israel by the radical jihadists of Hamas. Why does the Security Council discriminate, discriminate between Russians murdered at a concert and Israelis murdered at a music festival. Civilians, dear colleagues, no matter where they live, deserve to enjoy music in safety and security. And the Security Council should have the moral clarity to condemn such acts of terror equally, without discrimination. Sadly, today as well, this Council refused to condemn the October 7th massacre. This is a disgrace. Colleagues, it was the Hamas massacre that started this war. I repeat, it was the Hamas massacre that started this war. Nearly six months have passed and the Security Council still has not condemned the child murdering rapist that began this war. The resolution just voted upon makes it seem as if the war started by itself. Well, let me set the record straight. Israel did not start this war, nor did Israel want this war. Israel disengaged and withdrew from Gaza 18 years ago. We wanted a ceasefire and coexistence. You can repeat here slogans and purport to know for the Palestinians what the Palestinians seek, but this won't make it the truth or the reality. The Palestinian representative here is lying through his teeth when he says that his people want to live side by side with Israel. By the way, as you probably know, he does not represent Hamas, he does not represent the Gazans, they did not choose him to speak for them. His leader, President Abbas, refuses to even condemn the massacre and he continued to pay terrorists. After Israel withdrew from Gaza, the Palestinians elected Hamas, a terrorist organization. They elected a terror organization. Hamas converted every inch of Gaza into a terror war machine, right under the UN's nose, maybe with the help of some of the UN's agencies, like UNRWA. And Hamas initiated ceaseless attacks on Israeli civilians throughout the past 18 years thousands and thousands of indiscriminate rockets and missiles at civilians. Today, Hamas is the most popular movement among Palestinians. And according to every poll, the vast majority of Palestinians support Hamas's massacre on October 7th, not only in Gaza, also in Judea and Samaria. This is the reality you should face and you should address. Colleagues, while the resolution fails to condemn Hamas, it does state something that should have, should have been the driving moral force. This resolution denounces the taking of hostages, recalling that it is in violation of international law. Taking innocent civilian hostage is a war crime, and there is no arguing that this is what Hamas has committed. The release of the hostages should have been the number one priority. When it comes to bringing the hostages home, 
the Security Council must not settle for words alone, but take action, real action. It is unfathomable that when it comes to releasing the hostages, we still only see inaction. Not a single step has been taken by the Council, aside from symbolic words. Yet, when it comes to the situation in Gaza, the Council rushed, rushed to take action. You appointed a special coordinator and established a monitoring mechanism. The Council visited Rafa to see the aid shipments firsthand. And the Secretary General has already visited Rafa crossing twice. Why do our hostages not receive concrete action? What have you done to advance their release? Colleagues, following this Council's adoption of UNSCR 2712 and 2720, which both called for the release of the host all hostages, Hamas did not stop to even contemplate for even one moment. It should be very clear that as long as Hamas refuses to release the hostages in the diplomatic channels, there is no other way to secure their return other than through a military operation. So on the one hand, the resolution says that taking civilian hostages is in violation of international law. Yet, on the other hand, despite the fact that you know Hamas won't listen to your calls and release the hostages, you demand a ceasefire. Take a moment and think about this moral contradiction. Your demand for a ceasefire without conditioning it on the release of the hostages not only is not helpful, but it undermines, undermines the efforts to secure their release. It is harmful to these efforts because it gives Hamas's terrorists, it gives Hamas terrorists the hope to get a ceasefire without releasing the hostages. All members of the Council, all members should have voted against this shameful resolution. Mr. President, where are these Council's actions? Why don't you designate Hamas as a terror organization? Even if there, if there are Council members here who would prevent this due to their political alliances with Hamas leadership, where are the moral efforts to advance such a designation? I wish to suggest an alternative text that should have been adopted by the Council if it, if it wasn't so biased against Israel. The Security Council strongly condemns and deplores all abuses of human rights and where applicable violations of international humanitarian law by the terrorist group, including those involving violence against civilian populations, notably women and children, kidnapping, killing, hostage-taking, pillaging, rape, sexual slavery and other sexual violence, recruitment of children and, des and destruction of civilian property. The Security Council demands that the terrorist group immediately and unequivocally seize all hostilities and all abuses of human rights and violations of international humanitarian law and disarm and demobilize. The Security Council demands the immediate and unconditional release of all those abducted who remain in captivity. The Security Council recognizes that some of such acts may amount to crimes against humanity. Well, colleagues, I did not draft this text. You know who did? this Council. This is the resolution adopted by the Council 10 years ago when Boko Haram kidnapped the schoolgirls in Nigeria. So I ask you again, why can this Council call on Boko Haram to lay down their arms, but the same cannot be demanded of the murderous Hamas terrorists? Is the life of little baby Kfir Bibas worth less than the life of Nigerian child? Sadly, it's for the same reason why you can condemn terror attacks in Russia and Iran, but not in Israel. To this council, Israeli blood is cheap. 
This is a travesty, and I'm disgusted. Thank you, Mr. President.